Right, we're gonna do the Outbacker Firebox Stove. And I'm putting this into a caravan. We're doing a build on some barns. So we're gonna be living in a caravan for a couple of years, as you can see by the bits of bins and everything. So we're in a bit of a mess today. So I'll show you later on it done properly. And I've put hardback board, you can see. I actually sprayed it with black stove paint, but it's absorbed it too much. So I am gonna to have to paint that again later. But we're gonna do that. We've gotta put it up to the ceiling and out of the top and get it set up. Now, when you first get these, they come, the legs are down, but there's no glass in it. Ugh, excuse me. There's no glass in it. And these don't come on, you've got to put them on. So there it is. It's actually quite small. I'll probably do some measurements later. One thing I did find that was a bit difficult is you're gonna to have to get the ash out with this. That you can't get your hand in to sort of grab any ash. So, and it's gonna be fixed in position, whereas you could probably turn it on its side if you were camping. But here, you're gonna to have to just basically keep, keep sort of scooping and pulling out, scooping and pulling out. So let's do the insulation, in, insulation, installation with my father-in-law. So what we're doing to find the hole in the roof, we're gonna drill through the caravan roof, which is not good. We've just put the pipe on and we literally put a pencil at the top and got the blue mark. So that's all you've got to do to find out exactly where it lies at the top. We did come up with a hundred ingenious ways and then realise that actually does it. So there's quite a distance between that and the caravan roof, but that's our guide hole for the um, circle cutter. So the hole is there. It goes right up to the roof, that caravan hollow pretty much. We're going to cut that out. And then we are gonna, that is the flashing kit that goes on top. So it gets, it all gets tweezed between there. It goes between them. You can pick which ring you want, basically. <laughs> now the flashing kit comes in basically three parts. This um, heat proof rubber, um, that goes over the top like that. That entire unit goes above where you want it to go because the rubber is the seal. And then this one goes from underneath and you bolt them all through. But there's some I've seen here which it doesn't tell you. I'm going to be honest, the instruction manual is a bit crap. So it doesn't tell you. That's obviously the top, you know what I mean? So the rainwater goes on there, then just evaporates as the um, that does that. But this one, if you look at the others all the others and they are different lengths actually just be aware of this they are different lengths look at that so that's actually a different length of course so that's known as the female end because it's open and the male end goes in the female end for obvious reasons that's just plumbing that's how it's done I like that but this one has got two female ends and the only reason i think it's got two female ends can you see the difference the end there the end there is because this goes on top of there which that then goes in there and you know what they don't do again they give you this part obviously that's a jubilee clip so i think that jubilee clip goes on there to stop any water going down there but it doesn't tell you what they do in the slightest i have no idea the instructions doesn't tell you about what to do with this it doesn't tell you which bit that goes on does it go on the bottom does it go on the top so i'm assuming it goes on there to stop the rainwater going down and that you don't really need it on this bottom because it fits quite nice over there so that's a problem we're having so if i'm going to send this video to the manufacturer and see what they say but i think they need to upgrade their uh... so that's the inside you can see we've hit one piece of wood which is in the caravan strut but um i'll come, I'll come down excuse me so that's there basically it's in there and we're gonna go and I'll show you outside. So that's um, where it is. It's on the caravan roof. That's the barn we're doing up. Uh, that's the vents. So caravan roof, oh, that's where we are. Couldn't go up there. Got my solar panel going for my um, phone and solar panel for lights. Now there's no real instruction on which way these round go, so we're assuming that goes on there, but it creates a hole, so maybe not. That might actually be for the bottom, but it doesn't say, and we don't want that to go away. So now it's a case of trying to make it work as a bit of a puzzle, because there's short ones and long ones. So I've put the rope on there. You've got to stick the rope on yourself. You stick it to the door, not to the glass. And then you put these little tightening silver things on, which you've got to do, but you can't tighten them much because it will break the glass. So you just got to grip it so that it makes a seal. Now what's strange here is you've got this, um, this glass for the oven door, but they don't give you a rope for it. So the rope one is now on 
and this one there's no rope for. Okay, we've just uh, had a little bit of a clean up. This is Bolt. The evil one. So unfortunately, I stood on that and snapped it. Now up there, you can see we've still got to put a bit of fireproofing around there, but we're gonna do that next week because I've got another caravan. My girlfriend, is, uh, she's in next door. So we're gonna do another one next door. Well, she's actually in this one, but her kids are next door. Um, and what we've gone, that is a little bit wobbly. You can see it's a little bit wobbly. But um, we'll, it'll be braced when we put some fireboard around there. And there it is in. The glass is in on both of them. And some of that, you might not know about these, so that opens. But these are on springs, so you can pull that out, spin it round, find the way you want it, and do that. So if you're going to put this together, guys, I spent ages trying to get them to line up. All you have to do is put them on any way you want, and then do that, and it finds its little... It finds a click space. Basically, it finds where it there, clicks in. So, vent for it, that for that. And then we shall get that going. I'm just going to tidy up a bit. Oh, tidy up a bit and get something going. Still no idea what they are for. Not a single clue. And what we don't have is the... Um, this comes off, of course. What we don't have is the whatever tool you need to do that i don't know why you don't get anything for that or you know surely it's going to be when you're hot you put that on and you put it back on there'll be no way you could do that with your fingers roasting away burning so i'm not sure why you don't get a tool for that right guys so just a quick word of warning uh the handles are very hot now normally handles are made from material that are not you can just open you know but you need an oven glove for it it is not it's really good, we've got it going. It is banging out some heat. It's only been on 20 minutes, but the pamphlet, the instructions do say that it will smoke. So you can't really see it guys. Oh, there you go, can you see the smoke there? That is not smoke leaking, so just be aware. That is the coating of the metal uh, leaving. It has a spray coating on it, and the first couple of fires, keep your windows open, and um, it just let it go off. It's not leaking, so don't worry about it. The temperature of the oven, is at nearly 150 celsius which is you know standard oven cooking stuff and um it is i'm gonna be honest you're throwing out some heat my in-laws were a bit like i don't know whether they said i don't know whether it'll be a bit too small but already they're all like no anthony you're right so there you go guys oh and what they have done unfortunately and i'm gonna have to get this fixed i'm gonna order some more rope is i don't think i've sealed it correctly uh, because this is not working so when i shut when you shut that off that should really make it go down but actually makes it burn faster can you see and then when because it's drawing it up the chimney and when i open that it's sort of letting it burn easier so it's not really working how it should work but i think that's because i've not got a full seal on the um the glass unfortunately and i've got no more rope left so i have to buy some rope fire rope and um start sort of give it um you know fill in whatever i've missed Perfect, eh? Perfect. Yep. Today. Say that again. Okay, I'll make sure I don't put that on the internet. <laughs> so, my darling Emma is making um, banana muffins, chip in the corner, the tartan is all Cummins tartan. That's Mr. Bolt. And we're on curried soup, which has got too hot. Oh, gorgeous. Ribs, a brew, and two naans, and then banana breads. But I've had to take the curry off, uh, the curried soup off, because it is just too hot. And the oven is doing 200. It, don't forget, the oven will burn on this side because it's not a fan assisted oven. But overall, we're well impressed with it. This is the life. What is it? This is the life. Um, okay, so uh, the oven, the what are they called? Banana muffins. banana muffins are going in the oven. Like 
Wind in the willows. There we go. Tea off the stove. Um, banana muffins off the stove. And a messy haired girlfriend. <laughs> okay, guys. So that is the original Outbacker Stoves. And it's uh, outbackerstoves.co.uk. It's the Outbacker Firebox Pro portable wood burning oven stove. And that's in the caravan. The last thing I've got to do is that little bit up there. If you want to have a look, Emma. I've got to do that, but I'll do that next week. So uh, but I'll get the video up now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It's cooked our food. It's cooked our cakes. Uh, it's kept the dogs warm. The caravan is boiling. We're actually too hot. And the dogs are loving it. So there we are. That'll be our heat for the next two years while we do the build. So make sure you subscribe, guys, and keep up to date. And I'll be doing lots of English traditions.